In this podcast episode, I'm talking about things you can do to reduce the stress you may feel after you've been out for a few beers. Like me or someone that struggles with the mental health. Yes, I know it's a pain in the ass, but you are not alone. As you'll see from this podcast. Hi there, my name's James, and thank you so much for checking out my podcast, Dad Mind Matters, helping men to safely navigate family life without losing their minds. I set up this podcast because I really want to create a community that supports parents and maybe even specifically more dads and maybe more specifically than that, dads like myself who struggle with OCD. Now, as someone who struggles with OCD, not drinking an awful lot is a good idea in general. But to be honest with you, when you've got a busy life and a mate you haven't seen for a long time says, do you fancy going out for a beer? I'll be honest, going out and having a couple of J2Os or a couple of Diet Cokes probably isn't as much fun. That said, I've worked quite hard to improve my relationship with alcohol over the past few years so that the next day my anxiety isn't ramped up and all possible outcomes of what you did or didn't do aren't on high alert. In regards to alcohol, I found that me going out and having a couple of pints doesn't actually make my OCD any worse. In a bizarre way, the process of going out and seeing a few mates having a couple of beers and a chat actually, if anything, makes me calmer the next few days. That opportunity to connect with friends really helps. And I've found that in regards to alcohol, something as simple as having a pint of beer that's three and a half percent as opposed to five, six or seven percent makes a massive difference. I can have two or three drinks and the next day I feel okay. But something that always used to haunt me a bit, and this may resonate with someone who has OCD, is the false memories you can have the next day. Regardless of whether I've had a drink or not, false memories are something that I struggle with on a day-to-day basis. Did I pay for the bus journey? Did I accidentally offend or hurt or upset someone on the journey getting off the bus to my front door? A really simple technique that I found that doesn't completely erase the anxiety, but just helps me to rationalise it, and this may seem like a ridiculous thing to do, but it's worked for me. It's before I go to sleep, while I'm still in a mindset that I recall pretty much what's happened that evening, I just send myself a text message with a little account. For example, this morning I woke up and read a text that said, got off the bus, paid for the bus, walked home, got in, had a cup of tea, went to bed, all fine. Now that might seem utterly overkill, but actually it helps. I've really found instead of shaming myself for having these worries or thoughts, I try and rationalise them. Firstly, I acknowledge them. I don't try and push them down or push them away because all that happens in my case is they come back stronger. For me, when it comes to mental illness, I don't know if you ever completely get rid of these things you have. I think you learn to deal with them. You find ways to combat them and manage them. So for me, sending myself a text before I go to bed to say, do you know what? You had a good evening. There was no dramas. You got home safely. Can make a massive difference. It's quite often the one thing that just takes the edge off. That plus being a bit more aware about what I'm drinking. So maybe every other drink I might have a glass of water. When your friend says, do you want another beer? Instead of saying, yeah, I'll have a pint, you might just have a half. You might suddenly find you're drinking half the amount of alcohol you used to have. Or maybe every other drink, have a non-alcoholic drink. For me, it's never about the alcohol. It's about meeting up with friends I haven't seen for a long time. It's maybe other dads who have similar worries to me about money or about family or about themselves and just connecting. That's actually where the strength is in the community of meeting up with your friends. I really hope you got some of this podcast. And as I said, I'm generally trying to create a community that supports people who struggle with OCD. And like any group or community, it's much more interesting when there's two-way conversations. If you'd like to join my mailing list and would like my video course, How to Become a Less Stressed Parent, absolutely free, just go to my website, www.dadmindmatters.com. I really hope you got something from this podcast. And if, like me, you struggle with a mental illness or OCD, and you might feel brave enough to have a chat with me about it and share what things work for you to make your life easier, please email me at mydadmissions at gmail.com. I hope wherever you're in the world, you're okay. Take care.
like me or someone that struggles with their mental health. Yes, I know it's a pain in the ass, but you are not alone, as you'll see from this podcast.